Hello, welcome to this third video on probability. In this video, we look at calculating the mean and the median. And these won't be really trivial examples. Let's remember what the mean is. Uh, the mean is the average. And so we want to be able to calculate this average. We have a formula for it. The formula was introduced in the first video, the concept video, where we have our job to integrate the PDF function multiplied by X. It measures the center of the, of the probability density function, PDF for short. All right, officially in this series, this is example number three, and it is going back to example number one and now calculating the mean for it. Uh, example number one was just showing that this was a probability density function. Now our job is to calculate the mean for this probability density function. It's straightforward. We take this function, we multiply it by x. Technically, the integral says minus infinity to infinity, but the function is zero for most of that. And so we only integrate from one to four. And so we have x, but now times x times quantity x minus one, gives us x squared. Maybe I should have color coded that so you could see it, but it's uh, x times the, uh, the function who is x quantity x minus one. I've pulled the two over 27 out, but you know, this basic integration here, you'll have an x cubed who will integrate to x fourth over four. You'll have an x squared who will integrate to x cubed over three. You put the four in, you put the one in, you know, work out these details for yourself. All right, you'll see. Um, my advice is to pull a 64 out of that first parentheses. You'll make the, it'll make the, uh, the fraction arithmetic a little better. And you'll see that the final answer, um, is 19 over six. That's the mean. Okay. And then also in the second video, we saw the introduction of the exponential density function. Let's calculate its mean. So we have um, the function is zero, so long as x is less than zero, and then it is equal to some constant k that's positive, e to the negative kx. It's an exponentially decaying function. And so we integrate from minus infinity to infinity, but this, this guy, this integral here is gonna be from zero to infinity because the function is zero for all of the negative values. And remember the antiderivative of a kx times e to the negative kx, we're going to have to use integration by parts. It's an improper integral. We're going to have to introduce a limit and execute integration by parts. Uh, we could do the shortcut, but let's just do it as u and dv. Let u be kx, dv be e to the negative kx. Derivative of u is k, officially dx. And the integral of e to the negative kx is negative one over k e to the negative kx. And you're supposed to do uv minus the integral of v du, and the k's cancel, you get negative x e to the negative kx minus the integral of v du, but the double minus makes it plus. And the v du, the k's cancel there as well. And then you integrate that e to the negative kx again and this is what you get for your antiderivative. So we put that in place. We have um, zero to b. We do a limit as b goes to infinity, but we should simplify it first. What we should do is take that e to the negative kx and, and, and put it on the bottom as an e to the kx. And then what happens there is we have an e to the kb, k e to the kb. When it comes to zero, it'd be e to the zero, which is just a one, and then k times e to the zero. So that'd be just a k. Uh, so there's uh, four terms there. And what we really care about is this: these first two terms. What happens is b goes to infinity. Well, the second one there for sure goes to zero, negative one over k e to the kb, that's going to go to zero. Constant divided by something that's growing exponentially, it's going to go to zero. 
Now, the, the first one that's there, negative b over e to the kb, both the numerator and the denominator are growing. The numerator is headed to minus infinity while the denominator is headed to infinity. So this is your classic um, L'Hopital rule question where you take the derivative of the numerator and divide by the derivative of the denominator. Technically, I should have put a little minus on that. Uh, when I say infinity over infinity, I, put like, I like to put air quotes on it because it's not an actual thing. And uh, technically, it's minus infinity over infinity. Okay, so yeah, it should be negative infinity over infinity, technically. But yeah, we execute L'Hopital's rule, where we take the derivative of the numerator and divide it by the derivative of the denominator. And so, numerator's derivative with respect to b is negative 1. Denominator's derivative with respect to b is k e to the kb. And then just like the other fraction there, this guy is definitely going to go to 0. All right, great. So those guys both go to zero, and then what happens? There's a minus, a minus one over k. So hey, it's one over k. What did we learn from this? For an exponential density function, the mean is one over k. They're related to each other. If you know the mean, you know the k. All right, great. All right, let's go through one more example. Uh, the median is where you have half the area under the graph lies to the right of it, and half the area of the, under the graph lies to the left of it. It doesn't say that in the wording there, but um, here's the, uh, this is the integral for the left. This is the integral for the right. Okay. And so, uh, just use the letter M to stand for it. It's fine. Um, in the last video, we had a, a second example where we had to calculate the constant K that made this particular function uh, a probability density function. The K was 1 over 39. Now we can find the median of this particular function. Here's the graph. We're looking for the 50-50 split. The function is 0 outside of 2 to 5. In between 2 to 5, half the area is going to be to the left of M, and half the area is going to be to the right of M. Our job, find M. We're going to take either the left or the right integral. Um, uh, let's do the right integral. We're not actually going to go from M to infinity because we know the function dies after 5. It goes down to 0. So we go from M to 5, and we set the integral equal to a half. So it's strange. We have to find out what the limit of integration is. We know the value of the integral. But yeah, x cubed over 3, 39 times 3 is 117. Put the 5 in and put the m in. So 125 is what 5 cubed is, and then minus m cubed. They're both over 117. That must be equal to a half. Okay. Cross multiply 250 minus 2m cubed is 117, 2m cubed is 250 minus 117, which is 133. Divide by 2, take a cube root, m is equal to the cube root of 133 over 2. A little more than 4 in my drawing there. You can see it um, in the computer drawing. All right, so that's it. Um, in the next video, we'll come back and look at um, an example of Exponential, uh, exponential density function with uh, median and uh, we'll know the mean and we'll be able to calculate probability. And so uh, that'll be for the next video. Um, so let's go ahead and cut this one short now. Thank you for watching. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this journey. Comment down below if you have any questions or um, you know, just let me know if you need any help. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.